Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on Japanese language and culture. So, in our last class, we were uh, doing te imas form, which is equivalent to the continuous form in English, the ing form of English. So, we will continue with this form and see how te form of the verb can be used uh, in different ways and can help us in conversation. So, last time if you remember, we had done this conversation. Watashi no uchi no mai ni koen ga arimasu. Watashi wa toki doki koen ni ikimasu. Koen ni takusan ki ga arimasu. Koen ni ike mo arimasu. Ike ni sakana ga oyoi de imasu. Oki sakana mo chisai sakana mo imasu. So, you can see very clearly over here that ga is there. Now, what does ga show? Ike ni sakana ga oyoi de imasu. Something that is happening there which you can see which is a fact you can state with particle ga. That is the easiest way to remember how to use particle ga. Then we have a mo you have done this b mo and verb. So oki sakana mo oki sakana also and chisai sakana also imasu. So this is what we had done. Now listen to the dialogue very carefully. And after that, we will do the grammar. Watashi no uchi no mai ni koen ga arimasu. Watashi wa toki doki koen ni ikimasu. Koen ni takusan ki ga arimasu. Koen ni ike mo arimasu. Ike ni sakana ga oyoi de imasu. Ouki sakana mo chisai sakana mo imasu. Kino shita ni sunaba ga atte.子供たちはそこで遊びます。お母さんたちはそばからお母さんたちはそばから子供たちを見ていますお母さんたちはそばから子供たちを見ています。お母さんたちはそばから子供たちを見ています。お母さんたちはそばから子供たちを見ています。お
verb in stay plus verb over here. This stay basically is used to or helps in joining two verbs like this and this and means and. In short, we can say that it helps to give a lot of information in a single sentence. So now before doing this te form, I will quickly revise the te imas form which is the continuous form which is what we just learnt over here and then go on to doing this and something else as well. So now we can say that te imas form expresses a continuous action over a period of time. As you just now saw, time would be generally 10, 15, 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes or maybe an hour but not longer than that. Basically an action over a short period of time. So this you did last time, imagohano tabete imas. I am eating food which is not going to last for 2 hours or 3 hours. Then shawa o abitemas. It's a short period. And then mariko san wa okasani den wa o Imas. She is talking to her mother. Then what else does it show? State of being or living that state. Basically meaning being in a certain state. So there are certain verbs you can use over here. Not all verbs will work. So the verbs are tomodachi wa kekkon shite imas. That they are married and not that the ceremony is continuing. So they are living that state, they are in that state. Similarly for this one, watashi wa tsukarete imas. So I am tired, I am in the state of being tired. Now over here also you will see, watashi wa kazoku to isho ni tokyo ni sunde imas. Sunde imas is to live or living. So I am living in Tokyo. So, I am experiencing living in Tokyo. So, this is a state that you are in. Now, there is something else that you can do which is some activity that is done regularly. Now, this is something new for you. For example, mainichi bus ni notte imasu yo. It means that mainichi I ride a bus. But here the meaning would be I take a bus every day, that I travel by bus practically every day. So something that you do regularly, something that is a habit, a habitual action, that is what you show with the imas form. Then also you have breakfast every day. Mai nichi asa gohan o tabemasu yo ne minasan. Dakara sono toki Mainichi asa gohan ni pan to tamago o tabete imas. Regularly as a habit, I eat pan and tamago. Pan to tamago, which is and. I am trying to repeat all that we have done earlier for you to be comfortable. Mainichi asa gohan ni pan to tamago o tabete imas. I eat every day. Then as we did last time, it expresses present state with motion verbs. Now motion verbs are iku, kuru and kairu and with this you show movement in a certain direction. So how can you show a state when the verb itself states that it is a motion verb. So let us see what it is. So it expresses a present state over here. That's what it has said. So, tomodachi wa uchi ni shite imas. They have come home. So, basically saying that they are present at home. So, you will see that it also shows existence at a certain point, existence at a certain place or location at a certain place, location of a person. Then, we also have, for example, shujin wa shigoto ni itte imas. So, in conversation, you can say, maybe you will understand better. Go shujin irashai mas ka? Ah, sumimasen. Shigoto ni itte imas. Does not mean that he is 
still going or in the process of going. He is not in the process of going at the moment. Action is not happening means that he is at office. So his location is where? Office. So it shows place also. It shows present state also that where exactly are you or what you are doing. So how to use te imas form and show continuous action and how to use te imas form and show that you are living a state, you are in a state or at a location. So now let us see how it can be used in past tense as well. So taro sanva sanjukpun mai made gohan o tabete imashita. So we have done made as which is till we have done as kuji kara yuji made till. So taro sanva sanjukpun mai made gohan o tabete imashita he was eating. So taro kun was eating food or gohan just sanjukpun mai made tabete imashita in past tense. Similarly Nina san wa sanjukpun mai made shigoto o shite imashita. They were working till 30 minutes back in past tense. Please remember this. Now I had given this to you last time. Put it here again so that you can compare it with the past form and the past negative as well. This we did last time and this time concentrate on this one. Asonde imashita, past tense, positive and asonde imasende shita, past negative. This was the sentence that we did. Kodomo tachi wa imatsunaba de asonde imas. Now this is in past tense. Here, hashitte imashita, hashitte imasende shita, tabete imashita, tabete imasende shita, oshiete imashita, oshiete imasende shita. Skutte imashita, skutte imasende shita. So you can uh, practice this loudly and get the correct intonation. Now another function of the te form is to show action occurring in a sequence. And what does that mean? We can interpret te form as and as I told you joining verbs like particle to joins nouns. So by doing this we can show more activity as we did in the first example, like we can use more verbs and convey more to our listener in a single sentence. So let us see how it is done. Verb in te form, well it shows successive action in the order it is done or performed, it happens. It helps to connect sentences and generally is equivalent to and in English. It does not take tense. Please remember this is the most important thing. It does not take tense at all. If you remember I had told you earlier that verb in te form actually has no meaning. It is a hanging state. Till you add something to it, it will not convey anything. And the tense is shown by the final verb in the sentence. As you saw just now in the dialogue that koe ne itte, ike o mawatte, Benchi ni swatte gohan o tabemashita. So finally, where is the tense coming from? From tabemashita. That all this we did and then finally we ate food. So the final verb in the sentence gives the tense. We will see this right away. Now you see over here. Watashi wa kippu o katte densha ni nori mashita. I bought my kippu and then I boarded the train. Now see how it is happening. Vata shiva kippu o kai mas. So there is this one sentence. Then vata shiva again you can have and then sha ni nori mas. 
So, two sentences in one I have given you. So, what do we do? Watashi wa kippu o kitte. One verb and then watashi can be removed again from here. Densha ni nori masu. So, I buy a kippu and then I board the train. Now, this is a general statement. So, if I say watashi wa kippu o kitte densha ni nori masu means that is generally what I do. If I say watashi wa kippu o kate densha ni norimashita, then one time I did this that I bought it and then I boarded the train. So, please remember the difference between mas and mashita. The meaning completely changes. Now, you have this picture of a person returning home, then something like studying and then sleeping. So, what do we have? Watashi wa uchi ni kaerimasu, one sentence. Soshite benkyou shimasu, another sentence. Sono ato nemasu, another sentence. So, how do we make one sentence out of this? Watashi wa uchi ni kaerite benkyou shite nemasu. Watashi wa uchi ni kaerite, they form group. One benkyou shite group 3 and then nemas. So, the tense is coming from here. This is what is written. You can see very clearly what it means. This is what I do all the time. This is a statement and not something that happened. Again, there is another example for you. Let us see what it is. Watashi wa mai asa. Shawa o abimasu. Soshite haha ni denwa shimasu. Second sentence. Sono ato kaisha ni ikimasu. So, shawa o abite. Group 2. Haha ni denwa o shite. Group 3. Sono ato. You can add sono ato. Let it be as is. Or you can remove kaisha ni iki. Group 1. This is what I do every day. I take a shower, I call my mother and then I go to office. So, after this activity, I do this activity and then finally I go to office. Now, let us see what it is. Mai asa shower o abite, haha ni denwa shite, uchi o demas. Kaisha. Ni iki mas. So you can have this also, and uchi o demas means I leave my house. So I do these two activities and then I leave my house for wherever I have to go. Now there is another one for you. This is just practice for you to understand te imas form and be able to use it in your sentences. So, we have shimbun, we have somebody eating food and then somebody running to probably office. Mainichi shimbun o yomimasu. Group 1, yonde. Then asagohan o tabemasu. Asagohan o tabete. Group 2. Sono ato kaisha ni ikimasu. Kaisha ni ikimasu. So, you can see after first activity, second activity happens and then after the second activity, finally, what you want to do is right here. Now, let us see what it is. Mai nichi shimbu no yonde asa gohan no tabete kaisha ni ikimasu. So, different verbs you can use, different situations you can make and Practice with your partner. Mai nichi nani o shimasu ka? Is the question you can ask. Mai nichi nani o shimasu ka? So, mai nichi shimbu no yonde asa gohan no tabete kaisha ni ikimasu. And then you can describe the whole day or just this activity. If we use particle kara after te form of the verb, what does it convey? As you know, kara means from 
and so it indicates the starting point. So, here as well it is indicating a source or a starting point. Now, the source can be anything, it could be a person, it could be something else or it could be a reason with kara. So, the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that kara indicates that the first action has to be completed for the second to take place. So, if you are using te form plus kara, then the first action which comes before kara has to be over for the second action to take place. Now, let us see how it is done. Over here you can see there are two activities happening, one is asubimas and one is abimas. So, asonde kara shava o abimas. So, once I have played, I am over with my playing, then only I will take a shower. Shower is not happening before this activity. So, once this is over, then only something will happen. Now, there is another one. Tabete kara okasa nidenva shimas. So, only after I have finished this activity, I am going to do this activity. Or you can say that this activity, that is activity 2, is going to happen only after the first one is over. It has been completed. So, please remember with kara, always this action has to be over before you can do what follows kara. There is more practice coming. So, rao sanva itsumo shava o abite kara nemas. So, itsumo means always, I think we have done it earlier. Rao sanva itsumo always shava o abite kara after taking a shower always nemas. He does not do any other activity except nemas. So, for sleeping, he has to take shower first. This activity has to be over and then only he will sleep. He will not sleep and then this activity is going to happen. Now, there are some do's and do not'ts also as happens in all languages. So, well, benkyo shite nemas. So, this activity is followed by this activity. Now, I have put kara in bracket over here and in all the other examples as well. So, over here because it is not such a strong suggestion, it is not something so important, it is not an order, it is not something that if you do not add kara, the sentence is not complete or the meaning is not conveyed. So, you can remove kara also from here. Still the meaning is the same, rao sanva itsumo shava o abite nemas. So, after taking a shower, he sleeps. Over here, you cannot remove kara. Why you cannot remove kara? Because the speaker's intention is very clear. He is determined to do something. He has told himself, he has decided that I will do this and then only I will perform this second activity. And what is the reason? The reason is ashita shiken ga aru no de. Because there is an exam tomorrow, kyo, today, watashi wa fukushu shite kara nemas. So, you are putting importance over here by kara and you are telling yourself that no, I cannot sleep before revising. So, this is revision. Fukushu is revision. So, I have to revise before I sleep. Because it is important to the speaker, it is his decision, he has told himself to do something like this, thus kara is very, very important over here. In other cases, you may remove kara or may keep kara with te form. That is the only difference that you have to keep in mind that any time there is some suggestion or made by someone or made by you, something you have decided, you are determined to do something or it is a command, then kara is essential. For example, look at this one, benkyo owatte kara asobimas. So, only when benkyo is over, I will not play before that, only once it is over, 
then I will play. Benkyo owatte kara after finishing asobi mari. Remember this small difference in using and not using kara. The difference between te kara and verb te plus verb te form is that te kara indicates and focuses on order of events as we have seen just now that you do this and then you do this more on chronological order and planning of events as you saw with not being able to remove kara where you decide something and you do it of choice whereas the te form that is the verb te plus verb te plus verb form only lists events only tells you about events as desired or as they have happened like in particle to which joins noun with nouns so now we can say that verb te joins verbs in a similar manner like to joins nouns let us see the difference between te kara and ta kara one is in past and one is in te form so let us see bucho no denwa ga kite kara rao san ni denwa shimas so kite kara only once his denwa comes then i will call rao san so the action is not happening now it is for the future something that you are going to do for the future something that you plan for the future as we said earlier something that you plan that you do that you decide so bucho no denwa ga kite kara rao san ni denwa shimas now look at this sentence bucho no denwa ga kita kara now his phone has come bucho is your boss bucho is the head so bucho no denwa ga kita kara it has come watashi wa ima denwa shimas or shite imas or rao san ga rao san ga ima denwa shite imas bucho no denwa ga kita kara rao san wa or ga ima denwa shite imas with wa and ga different sentences are going to be made i have just written it together so please be very careful about that bucho no denwa ga kita kara rao san ga denwa shite imas bucho no denwa ga kita kara rao san wa ima denwa shite imas so you can see this activity has already happened this is over and now this activity is taking place nothing has happened over here no activity and this is for the future once the phone comes then i will call the phone has come thus i am calling now for this one now you can understand this over here as well nihon ni itte kara nihongo o benkyo shimas so once i go to japan then i will study japanese and now over here nihon ni itta kara nihongo o benkyo shimashita so it is all for the past that i had gone to japan thus i studied japanese over there so in this case it is for the future and this something has happened earlier remember with te kara and ta kara the difference between the two i think it's very clear now so there was a word i had given over here nan nan and nani what is the difference basically the meaning is the same what but it has been seen that nan is generally used with numbers and nani with other things like adjectives and verbs so nani o shite imasu ka shite imasu ka nani o so yomu he is reading the paper so shimbun o yonde imasu simple continuous tense now if he wants to perform another activity after this then shimbun o yonde kara something o shimasu then nani o shite imasu ka again so haha ni denwa o shite imasu again continuous tense calling my mother or talking to my mother now let us very quickly do some kanjis as well you have done this kanji taberu so i'll give you the stroke order 1 2 3 4 5 6 
7, 8 and 9. Ta be idi. So, the stroke order is very clear. Then there are some words with taberu so that you can uh, understand the kanji better. Tabe mono. Tabe mono means eatables. So, mono is like this 1, 2, 3, and then just a slight mistake over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Tabe mono. So, this mono can be used with other words as well like nomi mono, wasure mono, kai mono and we are going to do these words right away with the kanji. So, this kanji is 9 strokes and means to eat and here you have nomu which is very similar to taberu. You can see over here, ok I will make it here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, that is how it is made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. No mu, which means to drink and again no mi mono. So, you have mono again over here, mono, no mi and Mono. Nomi marks once again very, very quickly. Nomi mono. Now we have another kanji kai mono. So we will do the kau. Kau over here is like this me, another me, and then hito. So kau. So kai mono. So mono you already know. You know the kanji. I have made it a number of times already kai mono then vasure mono so again over here vasureru like this it doesn't start from here it starts from here and this is the sign of kokoro which is heart only the lower part so kokoro is like this so vasure and mono Again mono like this and this kanji itself is vasureru. So, re and over here you can write ru vasureru and vasure mono. Okay, I will make it once again re and ru vasureru. You have kau over here and vasureru over here. Now, there is this vocabulary, you can go over the vocabulary, remember the words, there are some new verbs and with this I would like to finish your class over here. I think lot of uh, te form we have done, we have done the continuous te form which is te imas, then we have also done the verb te plus verb te plus verb form which you have here in your lesson, there is lot of practice for you. Then we have also done the verb te kara form. For that also you have lot of practice and all the um, important things that you are supposed to remember. There was nan and nani also over here, some little bit of kanji. So please do all of it and digest this today and come prepared for your next class soon. So see you then. Sonotoki made arigato and mata aimashou.